was our first time hearing about St. Vincent de Paul having any sort of um, bins. So we were super excited to hit the store. We hit it on a Sunday too. I could not believe they were opened. Right away, going in the door, I find this Jerry Garcia tie. Never ran across one of these before. We listed it and it sold super fast. I'm really giving it the look over. It was 100% silk. I think we sold it for about $9, but that thing weighs nothing at the bins. I really contemplate this. I'd never seen Windy Pass by North Face before, so I was very, very curious. I really love to sell outdoor clothing too. You'll see me um, show Jason the tag, and it is Gore-Tex. So Gore-Tex is generally something people look for. I believe you have to be careful with that though, because it can be on the Vero. You can get a little smack on the wrist for saying Gore-Tex, but I've always chanced it. Nothing's happened yet, so. I threw that Windy Pass in the cart, but the more I looked at it, it didn't look like there was a really great sell-through, and it had some flaws to it. The tie around the neck was kind of worn out and a couple other things were a little worn out and I might have had some tears around the bottom or something so I ended up do toss that back I saw this print and I thought oh this is cute of course it's Old Navy you know could I get away with selling some Old Navy from the bins probably and do a little clean up here hopefully that gives us some thrift karma We'll dig in and find some cashmere here now that we did that good deed. I checked this out. I couldn't tell right away if it was like a boiled or felted wool or if someone had washed it. <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes, but I think it was meant to be that stiffer felted wool feel. Really looked it over. I don't have much experience with Coldwater Creek. I would definitely have grabbed that one because of the material, but it had some staining on the collar up on the top around the neck, so tossed her back unfortunately. We are still traveling in our camper for work, so I'm just not real invested in doing any stain removals, even if it's just a little bit. It would really have to be a great piece for me to mess around with, doing a lot of laundering. I'm like, hmm, that has a nice little leather tush pass, patch. What is this? Oh, got a little tag on the zipper. Seems like an older style of Wrangler. Man, like Jason put up here, it did sell really, really fast for just under $20 altogether. So, and things here, I think, uh, I think they were $1.89 a pound for clothing. So, you know, you're looking at maybe three, three or so dollars for those jeans quick flip. I love it. This is a long line J. Jill cardigan duster. I do like J. Jill. I know some people don't like to pick it up anymore, but I have pretty good um, flips with J. Jill. Pretty quick flips. So into the cart that goes. It is still hanging out in my eBay store though and my Poshmark closet. This um, took me back to childhood. It's definitely 80s, I would say. It's like a cotton material that has some floral embroidery and some embroidery here. And don't sleep on the fabric. If you can get it really cheap, like this weighed nothing. And it sold really, really fast. So I'd love to know what somebody did with that. Seems like it could be really cute curtains or something. And I just measure it out and give the best description I can. You know, it didn't have anything on the selvage, like what material content it was, but I just gave my best guesses and just measured out the width, width and the length and put that in and somebody bought it. I've never had fabric returned. So that's also another good thing about fabric. Plus it's easy to ship. You just throw it in a poly bag and off it goes. These are Indochino. I never heard of this before, but they're, they come unhemmed. They are suit pants so that uh, the buyer can have it tailored to themselves. 
So I threw those in the cart and they are hanging out. It looks like they sell for pretty decent money. I was really checking these over. I'm like asking Jason if he would want to wear these to the gym. He said no. Back in the back in the bins they will go. Somebody else might need those for the for the gym. Potentially could have sold them, but I don't have a whole a lot of uh, experience with Reebok either. But it could have been a really lightweight thing to buy and flip cheap. I don't recall what those pants were. I didn't show them too well. I think maybe they were a Talbot's um, Irish linen. This obviously is um, so wacky you have to pick it up. I wasn't sure because it's kind of a cheapy polyester but it's vintage. I had to kind of clean some eggnog off of it but it sold really really quick. Obviously weighs nothing and oh my god this thing is creepy. I probably should have bought it and sold it as like a haunted sweater or something. The old spooky haunted clown sweater. We have to do voiceover in here because it was so loud. They were playing like 90s music. I recall hearing Biggie, Brian Adams, super loud. So you couldn't get any of our, we couldn't show any of our um, conversations or anything as we're looking these items over. Um, Columbia. This sold very, very fast too. Nice, you know, outdoor rain jacket. Very happy with that find. Nice little waist belt. I'm notorious for forgetting to look for the belts. But I'm trying to get better about that. Make sure my items have the belts. <laughs> this <laughs> shirt cracked me up. Like, oh, money at the bins. Money at the bins. Of course it would be fake. <laughs> so weird. One of the funnest thing about the bins. I just love to dig in, see what you can find. I don't know if these dig and save um, St. Vincent de Paul dig and saves are nationwide. If we just happen to stumble upon Wisconsin has them, I'm not real sure, but we're going to be spending a little bit more time in Wisconsin. So I think the next town we're going to has a dig and save as well, plus a good little bins. So we should really have some awesome trash digging ahead of us, so I cannot wait. I come over here. There was some guy like really breathing on the back of my neck. He could not wait to get to the purses. So I kind of look quick and get out of there. I was uncomfortable. Then I'm off to head to the back because I'm like, okay, I got to get out of the clothing. My back was killing me. The back section is all hard goods. There was furniture. There were all kind of neat things back there. So Jason's going to show you that in part two. Come back and see us again. Thanks.